So yo yo everybody, this is Robert the Convict welcoming you to a Easter egg hunt of uh Five Nights at Pinkies. Me and Mr. Rumble Rose here are going to be doing a little uh I believe it's five or six what was it? Five or six Easter eggs? Oh, six in total. Okay. Alright. So six Easter eggs total and we're gonna be the Pinky and Rainbow Dash. Your intro? Yep. So the uh, Easter egg of okay, Rainbow Dash well, is one of them. I guess I'll say my part, but um, so we're here on the finance of Pinky's awesome and um, we're doing the Easter egg hunt. Uh, I managed to actually find out about what lies within this place thanks to Wolfie herself. They actually offered to show me uh, what, what all I was missing, and it's quite interesting to think about it. So, um, I guess before we start, I guess before I start showing the actual stuff, though, one thing I should mention is right here where my uh, sprite is in the game mode. Yeah, there was a keypad that was going to be right there, and if you put in 2015, you get a. Uh, it doesn't really count as like the Easter egg officially, but you get a little image now of, of some red pony. I don't know the story about that, but apparently it's uh, something that Rosie's not wanting to share too much out of. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I guess yeah. Luck. Hopefully the audience will be able to understand it a little bit better. Now I'll have to add subtitles to that because I heard a lot of in your mic. <laughs> yeah, probably because my fan, my AC things on. But anyway, if you can, if you anyway, so let's go over here to uh, the parts and service area. Yeah, I had to, uh, I had to get out of camera mode for a second there. Hello, Uglies. You see this? Hello, Uglies. Yes, that is the pony mask. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta take it and we gotta put it in the kitchen. Okay. Eh, okay, there we go. There we go. That's better. It's better to use the fizz gun than it is to, uh. Whoa, hello. The damn mask is gonna kick my ass. And, <laughs> and this is the one that unlocks the rainbow. Okay. This is the one that unlocks. Yeah, apparently this is the thing that well, that's, that's kind of like a key, so to speak. So we go down here. Yeah, the trigger. Yeah, the trigger, we'll, yeah, the we'll trigger rainbow dash. Yeah. yeah, you got a trigger rainbow dash. Let's see. Do do do. Oh, hang on. Flash slide out or yeah, it's scary. Flash on. Jesus. Okay, I was actually expecting okay, it. it still scares me. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, but yeah, once you try Rainbow Dash, we can actually go into a new area. That's something we found out thanks to Wubsy. Uh -huh. Alright, so I'm guessing it's in here. Aha! Wubsy! This is the admin. This is the admin room. And, I, and fun fact. MT Yummy. That says MT Yummy. I don't know, but apparently that's an old friend of, uh, Wuzzy that's no longer on this project. Well, hopefully that can still be a friend, because I would love to play with both of them. Both Wubsy and MT Yummy. That'd be awesome. Whoa. I forgot I had wings. Whoa. I forgot I had wings. <laughs> yeah. So fun. So fun fact for your viewers. This is actually the. This is actually the area where if you were to play uh, the security guard versus animatronics game mode of this, this is where all the. This is where the animatronics team would fly. So this is where everyone would be. Yeah, problem difference is you can't control the pony matronics in here. 
That's normally what an admin room like that would be for, but this one's just basically giving thanks, credits, and seeing who the creators are. <laughs> and the Easter egg counter. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's new, but you can... But yeah, this, but actually this is where, you know, you can control the part of the charge. I know because I've had a few sessions uh, with that, you know. Whenever you were, whenever you switch to animatronics, you can't get in the game mode, you'll be in here. Ah. So what is it that's in here that you would have to press in order to do that game mode? Well... One thing is that you'd have to have the game mode active, and you'd have to switch. You'd have to switch this to uh, security guards versus animatronics. Normally, it's like um, normally you can only do that if you're the host or someone's the host. Then uh, if you press F1, from what, from what I remember, you can actually switch between like security guards and animatronics, and you know, and the spectator mode. Oh, so they're hotkey activated. That's how they do it. Most m most uh, maps that have that type of feature usually have like another admin room like this with like a button board or something like that. But you telling me these are activated in that game mode with hotkeys instead? Well, pretty much. I mean, like, like I said, you know, you have to have the game, you have to have the fun of the game mode active. And the host would have to, um, either, like, switch it, you know, and, and you know, you remember the menu thing, right, uh, for FNAF game mode and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. The, uh, uh, the, yeah, the, yeah, the Pongo SG versus A, that's one thing. Or you can put a uh, little console command in there as well. Well, that's the thing. I'll probably have to find that game mode, because I don't think I have it. All I got is the FNAF game mode and FNAP game mode, as far as that goes. Well, well the thing is, is that you, it, it is built in, so all you gotta do is, like, you know, uh, you bring up the menu, and you have to be the host, too, and you go to toggle, and you have to toggle uh, the SG versus A thing, and that's how you go switch between you know, being on, like, the security team or the animatronic team. Ah. Uh, Jesus. Twilight looks really, really psychotic right here. <laughs> <laughs> and one, and one thing that I want to add for your video is that in the game mode, uh, whether, whether Applejack will be right here where I'm standing, Ah, yes. I've came across her one time, and whenever I got too close to her, she killed me. As though she was still active. I don't know how that was possible, but she did. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know. I mean, let's, uh, don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of these Easter eggs. Let's see. <laughs> And here's another Easter egg, here. everybody, that uh, Rumble here has pointed out to me, which, which if, if I can pick yeah, anything yeah. up, I can pick a lot of Eh. Well, let me pick it up. Yeah, basically, well, pick... well, just press E on yours, or that one. It's not letting me. Okay, I'll get this one. You get the one. You get that one. I can't grab this one either. I'm using a fizz gun. Yeah. <laughs> the lollipop oh, gravity is too much. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, follow me, and I'll just you know explain what's up. So. Yeah, as long as you're not flying on a lollipop. <laughs> that was that was mistaken. <laughs> uh, you're just trying to show off. Admit it. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, forgive me if my height's a little over his, because we're actually both ponies. <laughs> it's funny how it's stuck there. <laughs> here, let me just sit my drink right here. Click. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Get that, you got that one and the other one. Yep. I think you have your server set to where only the admin can pick things up or use the E button or whatever. Alright, I can't grab it. Yeah. I don't know why, I mean, I don't know why I could have done differently. Yeah. It's probably just a bug. Gmod being Gmod. Gmod. Yeah, either that or probably Anna did something in front of the session that kind of went over with the mind. Possibly, because he has affected other people's games before. But it's not intentional, I'm sure. But yes, these are the Easter eggs here. You have to stick the two lollipops onto the monitor. That's two, e that's, I think that's does both lollipops count as two Easter eggs or one? I think it counts as two. Uh, like, two, you know, the, the same thing, it's like it counts as two Easter eggs. Ah. Well, let's go ahead and look at the counter. Yeah, yep, see, that's two. We're still green, but. Right? <laughs> we're so still that's green, two. and now there's four. Yep, so now we got. Two last Easter eggs, and I think we know where the next one is. It's gonna be down here, and yes, the crowbar. Yeah. I still can't pick nothing up. I am a weakling. I don't know why. I'm a weakling. The gravity is set over nine thousand. <laughs> Hello, it fell behind the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move the barrel either. Okay. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Okay. I hold the door open. I said, hold the door open. God, it sounds like a lot of clunking. Yeah. Now, I wasn't saying that this was going to be difficult, you know, but because I think, like, it's not because how the thing is, but, yeah, but, you know, you have to use the crowbar on this thing. Yeah, you have to actually pry the door open. Sorry, I hate that door. I think you literally have to twirl the crowbar up against it, like it's an actual crowbar. Well, I don't really know how to do that other than just dropping it down. Uh. <laughs> 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 well, that doorknob's not in the right spot! It's defying physics! <laughs> Game not looking my way. There we go. I think it opened. I think. No. Uh, oh, hang on. Eh. Well, that actually counted at least. Yeah, go look at me. I'm over here fizz gunning everything. <laughs> moving. I actually grabbed something. I actually... Oh, come here. Very heavy endoskeleton. Oh, so you we did get it. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright, so... But, the Easter but egg, egg, I, yeah, I'm about to tell him. Uh, the Easter yeah, egg the Easter that was supposed egg to be... The Easter egg that was supposed, was supposed to be... To be opens up. <laughs> to uh being a whole thing full of those pinky masks by the way honor it's on the yeah and it's, 
Yeah, it's only the right door that actually activates for that. Now this one is very hard to find. I think only Wubsy herself knew where this one was. Yeah, it was definitely uh, an interesting one to say the least. Yeah, see the little blinking light. You have to grab the blinking light out of the exit sign. And take it to the admin room. Yep. It's actually kind of a funny Easter egg because it's like saying the bulb is blown and we're replacing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, here we go. Open. Go on in. Get. Open door. There you go. Open door. There we go. And. Good. I think you may have to jump up there. <laughs> this, I think, is Wubsy's favorite part. <laughs> also, she was dancing like crazy whenever she saw me just in her session. Yeah, I bet the music was installed herself. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, I think she said that, uh... She was the one who did all the Easter eggs in this map. Oh yeah. She knows more than anything. She is an awesome modder. And probably an even better <laughs> Rocket League player. <laughs> yeah, I would say, you know, I, uh, she did a really good job in this map. I really enjoyed it when we were playing this thing. Yeah, I mean, it said that this was her first map, so this is actually pretty cool to me. I mean, being her first yeah, map I mean, being... is good. I think that the second map is going to be even better. Yeah, and just to, and just to let you see what's now. There is a fine of Pinky 2 now that's still in the works, but it's still like a very work in, early work in progress. There's not a whole lot of stuff added to do it yet, but the second map is going to be at the Carousel Boutique. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mr. Yami is this one. Look, right here. Mr. Yami. Mr. And look at this. Mr. Yami. It's a guy pony. <laughs> well, that's new. That's new to me. Uh, unless it's a friend of hers that borrowed a guy's account or something. But anyway. Well, we finally know the name yeah, right there. It's Mr. Yami. But yeah, pretty much, um, this is all the easter eggs that are in, or that are within the Sugar Peak Corner. And I will say also, that these can be done in the game mode too. I personally tested them myself. Oh yeah. And like Rumble said, there is going to be a Finite to Pinky 2 map in the works. But it's not official until it's official. So this could be an experiment that could get abandoned. You never know. Just like the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 map with the events, it could get left to rot. I don't know. She could change her mind. Yeah, but I will say, you know, I hope to see that thing actually be done because it, cause I'm really excited. I'm actually hyped to see what it's going to have to bring. Oh, yes. This is going to be like uh, my return to Sugar Cube Corner that you and I done. It's gonna be like, uh, Rarity's Boutique thing going on. <laughs> Which we'll have to find out the name of that map, so I'll be able to be able to title the video. So I'll see all you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you like map this or the FNAF 2 map? Uh, the, the FNAF 2. 
Like and subscribe, y'all like this one. And this is Mr. Rose. Like and subscribe to him as well. He has been my uh, Five Nights at Pinky's partner ever since the beginning. And Wubsy, who is also epic and fan art for making OC characters for My Little Pony. And she is very yeah, good this at everything. Is the credit here in the bedroom room that shows everyone, you know, that was behind, you know, every little thing that, you know, put this thing together. You know, and, it's, and I, I, I got to all these people, you know, because, you know, this was really cool, you know, it's, you know, from the map to the, to that point of the to everything that, even with this little prop. Oh, yeah, this is very awesome. But I like it described the uh, uh, Rumble Rose and me because Rumble has been by my side since the beginning of Five Nights at Pinkies. Well, since I met him anyway on Steam. And we have been going at this, <laughs> all these game mods as hard as we could as a pair. And we've been knocking them out like Mike Tyson, like I said before. <laughs> yeah, the one thing I will say is that one day we might revisit these. Uh, this thing together, and uh, we might actually do from what nights one through six because, because ju just in case for those who don't know, Robert here joined on my server and joined me from night two through six. So well, one day in the future we might come back to, the, to this and do nights one and two as well as the three through six, since we know what to do here. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can redo. Uh, FNAF 1 before FNAF 2, sort of like a montage of a duo who cannot be defeated by any pony metallic. <laughs> I'll take that as a, yeah, I'll agree with that totally. <laughs> but we'll see all you in the next video. Like and subscribe, y'all like this one. And we'll see y'all you next time. Later! Yeah. <laughs>